Ooh. It's tea time. It's tea time with Mary. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to Tea Parties on the Internet. I am your host, Miss Mary Lou, and today I am not alone. Hi, Helios. How <laughs> Hello, are you? everyone. Hi, Miss Mary Lou. Oh, my goodness. If you don't know Helios Hollywood by now, I'm going to go ahead and have all of the <laughs> lovely links down below. We're going to be doing another collab over on Helios' channel, so please go check it out when you're done having a tea party here, of course. So, Helios, what did you bring for us to try today? We have the boxed collab collection of Trader Joe's teas for the holidays. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. I have had some Trader Joe's holiday tea collections in the past and loved, loved them. So Helios has brought this over today. We're going to be trying three organic teas. But well, before we move on into the video, if you are not subscribed to the Miss Mary Lou channel already, you are seriously missing my hope. Please hit the red subscribe button below and the little notification bell. So you know when I upload. Yeah. Love us a good holiday <laughs> theme taste test. I'm so excited. Are I you am ready? too. Absolutely. Yes. So today we are going to be taste testing for you three fine organic teas from Trader Joe's. This collection contains a low-grown pure Ceylon, a high-grown pure Ceylon, and a pure Ceylon organic green tea. I mean, we have to start with talking about the packaging, right? Like, they really they really went for it this time. And when you take it off, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love the red on the side, though. Right? Just the it's little It's just that details. little touch on there. Oh, it's beautiful. But they Look forgot the tea. This. Oh my gosh. <laughs> JK, the tea's right here. I <laughs> took it out already. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, look how beautiful. This is actually in Ceylon, Sri Lanka. It has the really pretty, and the red details carried inside, which I love. It's so festive, like. The attention to detail on the packaging is beautiful. Right, and even there's the little like reflective metallic gold foil on the thing. And you can see that as their name is there. Okay, Trader Joe. And also what I like about this box is that it's magnetic. Oh, I love it so much. So it definitely can be repurposed or reused. Totally. I can totally see myself finding lots and lots of uses for this. And like, if you're not really great at wrapping gifts, it's already a super pretty there you box. Go. Put a bow right on top of it. <laughs> and you're done. That's it. You're great. But the uh, containers are incredible. They yeah. are reusable as well. All of the teas come in a beautiful little tin that seals. And even inside, the teas are packaged in like a vacuum sealed type bag to keep them extra fresh, which is really exciting. And then when you open those up, you have some tea bags. I'm not a huge fan of the silken tea bag type. I could do without that. Um, but for today, we have cut open the tea bags and brewed them loose, which I love brewing loose tea. Anyway, if you want more details as to why, I'll go ahead and link a video down below. So say you're not a huge fan of drinking tea out of the silken type tea bags and it's all you get for Christmas, do not despair. You can just cut open the tea bag and go ahead and brew that and it's pre-proportioned. So, hello. I love that. It smells so good. Yeah. Each of these comes with 10 tea bags per tea. So that's 30 wow. tea bags. That's pretty dang good. That'll keep you for the whole month. Yup. Or well, at least Mary Lou for a week. Yeah. I was like, not if you be. <laughs> so I really, really do love the packaging. Let's try the first tea. Absolutely. So first we have the Low Grown Pure Ceylon Organic Black Tea. Awesome tin again. I know. I really, really love it. I'm so in love with this packaging. I bet you could just reuse it for oh, other I've, teas, maybe. A hundred percent. I reuse these tins for everything, not just tea. Or you can just put paper clips or push pins in them, I guess. Office supplies. I even keep like soap in these oh, things. I mean, this is like a really good quality container. Mm hmm. Yeah, so, I'm totally. I like totally when they do that it. because it's not just something you throw away. And it keeps the tea fresher, oh. right? Well, I don't know. We drink tea quite often, so it really doesn't have time to go bad. <laughs> okay, okay. So there are two black Ceylon teas. One is low grown and the other is high grown. So we're going to be starting with the low, low grown. grown. So All my right. friend. Let's give this one a try. Cheers. Cheers. 
Lovely. Ooh. I love it. It's pure. It's a little earthy. Smooth. So smooth. And these are unsweetened right now. Yeah, these are totally unsweetened. It's it's amazing unsweetened. I can't even imagine if we put the maple syrup in it. Mm. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are... Oh, wow. This is really lovely. Trader Joe's? It's pretty awesome. I know. And I'm really curious to see if I can taste the difference between the low-grown and oh, the high-grown. Because I've done some like early season, late season, different season kind of taste tests of the same teas, and the taste is drastic. But I am really curious to see. Oh, this is really good. This is total. Is this first Helios Hollywood approved? I, this one definitely is Helios mm -hmm. Hollywood approved. Um, I'm surprised because, you know, store-bought teas that aren't like Harney & Sons or some of the higher-end brands, it's a gamble, I think, sometimes. But this is smooth. This is definitely smooth. Yeah. Even when the channel was beginning or when people ask me, like, how do you get started in tea? Should I go to a fancy tea shop? Like, well, Tivana is not open anymore, unfortunately. But... I would always tell them to go to Trader Joe's. Yeah, absolutely. Always. I would. I still shop for teas at Trader Joe's. Like, Although she has her own tea sommelier at her disposal. I do. Hi, Steph. <laughs> Hi, Tea Spectral. I love you so much. Is your tea still available right now? It is still available. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at you plugging me. My custom Earl Grey Rose Blend, Miss Mary Lou's Morning Rose Garden, is still available. We restocked, so, and it's in the store all the time and I'm just beside myself. And I'm it's the same one from the original collection. Yeah. It was so popular and people loved it so much. We brought it back in a full size for you to enjoy year round. It, it's a beautiful tea. Anyway, <laughs> I love this. Five out of five teacups. I, I have to agree. What? This one's five out of five teacups. Yes. Uh oh, I'm behind. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can taste the difference between the low grown and the high grown. Absolutely. Next up, we have high grown pure Ceylon organic black tea again gorgeous little tin and you get three they're pretty big i'm they are. really surprised you can fit a good amount of tea in those so a plus again cheers my dear cheers Ooh. i would say it's a little less earthy it's a it little is. more gentle and the taste is a little more straightforward it's softer i think than yeah the low. softer is a great word to use this one i think if you were to add the milk it might overpower it i yeah i would say that this is maybe a more just like this is what i think of as a classic black tea absolutely like the other one it had a lot of other layers of flavor in there and this one is just super super straightforward it is I think that, I mean, you could actually do a sweetener and the milk in it, but... It'd or, be a very English style It would be, definitely. I, I don't think it's more our side of the pond type of tea. Uh-uh. Uh <laughs> but the question is, which one do you like better, the low or the high? I like them for different reasons. reasons. <laughs> this to me, this is a classic cozy cup of tea because it's something that I've tasted before, something that I know would be really good with as like fixed the good old English way, but I love the other one to drink on its own. I'm very much a tea by mood person, which is why I really, really like collections like this, where you have a variety of things to choose from, a variety of things to try. So you're like, am I in the mood for a high grown or low grown? I <laughs> How do I feel know. today? But I can definitely taste a difference. <laughs> See, I'm on the other end where I'm just a little too lazy to put sweetener or cream in. And whenever I come to Miss Mary Lou's, there's always that option. There is. And she has tons of like oat milk option or some other type of nut milk option. <laughs> I, you know, I take tea very seriously <laughs> she does. in this house. I'm just too lazy to put sweetener in it. <laughs> Word. I mean, like, that's not a bad thing. Lots of people drink tea that way, including myself. I'm still going to give this one five out of five because it is still an excellent, excellent black tea. It is. I'm going to give this one four and a half because I really liked the low grown a little bit better because I think I would reach for the low grown more frequently than this one. Yeah, the low grown reminded me a little bit more. It had a couple of those oolong earthy flavors yeah. in there, which is closer to green tea, tea which you exactly. love, which you are gonna absolutely <laughs> love the next tea that we Ooh, have. That oh one's my green goodness, tea. let's do it. All right. Mm. 
So we have the pure organic green tea on this one. Also a Ceylon leaf. Now, green teas, if you didn't know, are picked and then the oxidation process is stopped right away. So that way the leaf stays nice and green and fresh. So you can have the same tea leaf and get a lot of different kinds of tea. The black teas, same tea leaf. It's just been allowed to oxidize and get dark and develop those flavors that we're so familiar with. But green tea, is fresh. <laughs> so I'm curious that it's the same leaf to try I know, it. This one's going to be interesting. I'm excited because I'm a green tea fan. I drink green tea every day. So let's get into this one. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. This is actually good. I'm a real picky green tea person, she is. for those of you that did not know. And I try to be very sensitive while brewing it as well, cool down the water a little bit, a little less of a steeping time. I know you like your green tea nice and strong. I do. But I brewed this a little more to my taste and it's actually really lovely. It's really delicate. It's very delicate. It's very light. It's not too heavy in one direction or the other. It's not super grassy. It's not super earthy. It's kind of just like this very pleasant bubble of flavor somewhere in the middle. I think this one's the most refreshing out of the three. Oh yeah, for sure. Iced, this would be great mm -hmm. with a little bit of fresh fruit oh, thrown in there. Oh my goodness gracious. This would be really lovely. I'm so surprised I like this one. I was afraid I was gonna hate it. This one's smooth as well. It doesn't have a really strong green tea flavor. And mm -hmm. I know that's something that you're not a fan of sometimes. Yeah, matcha who? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm the matcha fan, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is mm. like really lovely, versatile for the time of the year. You don't have to drink it hot. I know you're a huge iced tea fan. Definitely. You think you could drink this iced? Oh, absolutely. I would totally do this one iced. And again, it doesn't need any sweetener. Mm -hmm. This is a standalone, no sweetener at all. I'd say this is a really good intro to green tea, green tea. Oh, good. That's a good point. Because it's not, like I said, too heavily on one end or the other of the green tea flavor spectrum. It's very round, very light, somewhere in the middle. So don't be afraid if the person you're buying for hasn't had a lot of experience with green tea. I think that this is a really, really good introduction to absolutely. green tea. Absolutely. I think all three of the teas combined together are just a good introduction if somebody isn't familiar with one tea or another. Yeah, and be even the variation in flavors among the two black teas, I think is really like with things like this, doing a tasting like we're doing is just so fun. I mean, you should do this at home and definitely send a picture oh gosh, Instagram please, at Tag if us. You do. Yes, at Miss Mary Lou at Helios Hollywood, all the things. Please let us know. I also just like, it's always so nice having tea with you. Five out of five teacups for this Absolutely. green Absolutely, this one's five out of five. Mm-hmm. If we could give it six, we would. I would. Oh. <laughs> I'm on my lap. Mm. Well, Helios, you have brought over what I would call a spectacular tasting trio of teas from Trader Joe's. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm very proud of myself for that. Um, what do you think of the collection overall? I really enjoyed it. I think they're all wonderful teas. It is a good collection. And since we sampled them all next to each other, I think for a beginning tea aficionado or a beginning tea taste test, this would be excellent. Yeah, and even for someone who's been around the block a few times like myself, I still really enjoyed it. And I think it's really fun. I can totally like picture a scenario for each different kind of tea and like when I'd be in the mood Ooh. and all of that stuff. I get a lot of imagery when I drink tea. Well, I think, you know, it also helps that we have a blazing fire right behind us. Oh, I know. You don't so realize cozy. it's really hot in here. That fire is roaring behind Ooh. us. Ooh. <laughs> My goodness gracious. <laughs> so, which one was your favorite? Oh, you know, I'm gonna throw you a curveball because- oh, you're not gonna say the green tea. I'm not. I'm actually going to pick the low grown. The low grown, yes, excellent choice. I'm gonna pick the low grown on this one. Dang. The green tea was wonderful and I definitely would drink that, of course, but the low grown, I would reach for that. You should try some oolong teas. I but, might have a few I can send you. Yeah, I know. In. I got to find somebody who knows a little <laughs> bit about tea. Yeah, I, I, I want to point you in the direction of oolongs. 
Anywho, I think my favorite was also the low groan. It Great minds really, think alike. Oh, it was just delightful. <laughs> it was, ah, I was so surprised and very pleasantly so. None of them were sharp. There was no, no sharp notes at all in this collection. No, not at all. All really nice. And you can tell that by like the quality of the leaf. You can tell by touching it, smelling it, all of that stuff while you're brewing it, which is really, really nice. I think one thing that may have helped is that you brewed this loose. I did, yeah. Brewing it loose definitely, definitely helped. Again, I'm gonna have the video about the silken tea bags linked down below. So overall, excellent job, Trader Joe's. Yep, absolutely, Trader yeah, Joe's. Yeah, the packaging, A+, plus. the teas themselves, A+, plus. could do without the tea bags, but overall, I think it's really, really excellent. And it's a nice gift. I think this would be an excellent gift for somebody. Oh, oh, a thousand percent, completely. So now that we have had our tea, head over to Helios's channel, we are going to be trying chocolates. Ooh, but not just any chocolate. It's vegan, gluten-free chocolate. Oh my goodness. And are they like tea infused or something? Um, There's a bunch of different flavors. Oh my gosh, there are a bunch of different flavors of chocolate. <laughs> he was like, what do you feel like doing today? Snacks or chocolate? And I was like, chocolate, chocolate, <laughs> bring it down. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much for tea partying with me today. Again, links for Helios are gonna be down below. And last and most important of all, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next tea party. Cheers! It's tea time with Mary. Come on everybody, sing along. You know the words. Thanks for watching. Tea time with Mary. I hope to see you real soon. If you want to, like, subscribe, and comment. I think that that would be cool. Check out my facebook.com slash Tea time with Mary for all the content that's new. Or my Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. I'm at Miss Mary Lou. So thanks again for joining us. And thanks for being a friend. That's her. Oh, come on. Oh, we finally got she it. She got it there. Yeah, there I did go. it. We did it.